Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Hot Sauce Review. You have Rhino, you have his beautiful, beautiful darling wife, Alicia, and we're looking at a hot sauce from Maritime Madness and PEI. I almost thought I grabbed a really hot one for a second because I forgot that the label for the regular sauces is like this. Anyway, this is uh, made in PEI since 2002, and you have the Giver, Go Hard, Grocery List, and uh-oh lines down the side. And this is their mustard pickle secret weapon hot sauce. So you can read what is in the mustard pickle hot sauce. Vinegar, sugar, mustard, cucumbers, peppers, spices, salt, and vinegar. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any pepper in there. Yep, you did read that right. Nothing says down east like a proper jar of mustard pickles. <laughs> you wish everything tasted as good as mustard pickles, new one, but you had don't. And now it can. <laughs> it's deadly good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we when we were in Winnipeg, Winnipeg was all about the uh, honey dill sauce. The honey dill sauce. Oh shit, was gross too. <laughs> I didn't mind the honey dill. Um, eh. We we had some honey dill that was good, and we had some honey dill that wasn't. <laughs> Because we we tried three different honey dill sauces while we were there. Yeah. Where's your other dog? I'll talk about that on the next vlog. Oh, okay. We got into it. Sort of. Now we put the lid back on. We take this thing off. We cut the stout. It's over there. Um, remember, we gotta sniff it. We gotta try it. We cheers, you fucking selfish woman, you. Oh, stop with that nonsense. I'll let you do the next sauce on your own, how much you want. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> that smells like pickles. <laughs> It smells like dill pickles. No, bread and butter. Yes. Bread and butter pickles. Like full on bread and butter pickles. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that is one of the weirdest things I've ever eaten. It just is wrong. I gotta ask Ron if he likes pickle mustard. Mustard pickles. Have you ever seen those? No. They're pickles that are like jarred in mustard. So first and foremost. It's like eating a... They show... Oh, they don't show the spicy rating on here. This is actually kind of... It has a kick. It's like... It kind of tastes like, you know, when you get a burger with everything on it and it just... Yes, it's Mouths like it's together. like the mustard, the mustard, the pickle, the onion, all of it together. You know what it kind of tastes like? Those fucking cheeseburger chips that we had. No. <laughs> yes. No, because I actually don't mind this. But I think the heat of this is what makes me not mind it. I think this would be good, like you just said, I think this would be great but on a burger. But this tastes good with wine. Why would you do that? Because I needed a drink, and that's what I had next to me is wine. So I think this would be great on like a burger, a hot dog, a sausage. I yeah. don't think it would be good on a lot of other things. I think this is all a barbecue accoutrement. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like you said, it does taste like like the onion, the pickle, the tomato, the the mustard all mixed, mingled together with some salt and stuff from the. It does have a burn to it, eh? It does. It took a while to get the burn there, but it's but building. But it's, it's like in the throat, the chest, and the back of the tongue. I actually really think this is interesting. It was the weirdest thing I've had in a long time of this, but I really like this. What do you actually think? It just doesn't taste right, but you're right. If you had it on the right thing, like a burger or something, it probably wouldn't taste horrible. It just, I think it just... It's not something either of us are used to. No. 
And I think that was its biggest problem. But other than that, it's actually pretty tasty. I need to go get me a glass of water later. I'll get you one after the next video. No, you need to give me a tub of ice cream after the next video. I can't get you a tub of ice cream. It's it's after 9 p.m. in the Arctic. Everything's closed. You have the keys to the store and the alarm code. I'll put my... No. Um, yeah, so... Out of 10. Uh, six, seven. See, I think this is an 8.5 out of 10. I think the flavor is really nice. It just... It was weird to me. It's very sweet. It has a good kick to it. It really does taste like mustard and pickles. Mm. But it's coming back on me. Maritime Madness Mustard Pickles Secret Weapon Sauce. I did not know that was a big maritime thing. Apparently it is. We got asked. That. Well, I showed this to the boss and she didn't say anything. I don't think they realize that mustard pickles are not a thing outside of the East Coast. Like, they, you can find them. They're around. But they're not popular. They're like gross looking they really are when you look at them in the jar they yeah and i don't think they're bread and butter because that's really what this tastes like is a bread and butter not a dill yes. which is what most people are used to that's because there's no dill in it it's it's uh the sugar and everything right yeah thank you guys have a wonderful evening au revoir see you soon Bye bye Mwah.